What's going on, you Welcome back to another video here on FIFA Mobile 22. So Carnival has dropped, and it is time to show you everything in this promo. It did drop yesterday, obviously, but they literally now, FIFA Mobile, just dropped every single promo in the same day. It's like, all right, Team of the Week yesterday, Team of the Year yesterday for the full squad, and Carnival yesterday. So uh, it would be nice if they spread it out a little bit, uh, but uh, we kind of wanted to do our Team of the Year one first, full Team of the Year squad. Uh, we're going to get some game playing with that Vanderstar Prime Icon card, which was definitely a bit underwhelming. Uh, I was... Really expecting a lot better things out of a card with like 137 diving and stuff. He was really good at free kicks, which is ironic because his free kicks, that is 10. Uh, but anyways, we're on to the Carnival thing today. Uh, so we want to do something special uh, for this one. We're going to give you the guide. We're going to break everything down. You can get free to play this one. But we're also going to put together a full Carnival squad, including both of the event icons. Both Socrates and Nedved are going to be on our uh, full uh, squad of Carnival players here after we break down the promo. Uh, so I'm excited for this one. So let's just get into it. All right, so the nice thing about this promo is you don't have to do a whole bunch of grinding. So all this sort of team of the year stuff that's going on is sort of our main grind right now. Still a lot of people still trying to get to FIFA champion. Uh, so it's not going to add a whole bunch of additional stuff on there, but you can get some decent rewards, including a 91 overall card. And then uh, this uh, Justin Clover card uh, that you can get here, the 88 overall left wing card, which uh, has really good pace too. So I think he actually should be uh, a pretty decent card. He does seem... Uh, oh, okay. For a second, I thought maybe be unauctionable. He is auctionable as well. Uh, so you could technically sell him if you are able to get, uh, you know, a sale on that card there. So you get in by playing 50... Uh, of the skill games and we play five of them every single day uh, there's no stamina so you really just play at any time within the uh, 24 hour period and from playing them you get 10 10 10 30 30 so 90 of these points every day and so after basically 10 days of the 14 day event you can get yourself Justin Kluivert and then there's this milestone two that you can do and so this is going to be a weekly reset for 425 points and so again if we look at this, we play five of these every day. So five, 10, 15, 20. So four days, and you're going to be able to get yourself this milestone to complete, which means we can complete it both weeks. So you're going to get an additional 850 Carnival points for that. Uh, and then the 90 that you get every day. So basically what's going to happen with that is in total, that is going to give us, actually, there's one other way to get it. I guess I should share with this one here. You can also get the other point right here, the 600 points from here. So you can get all of those points free to play without, you know, spending any FIFA points any gems, anything like that on there. Uh, that's going to give you a total of 2,710 of the Carnival points that you're going to get at the end. Uh, then every day, once you finish that, you get an additional 225 of these parade tokens. Uh, so over the course of the entire event, uh, you're going to be able to get 3,950. So you get the 225 a day from here. You also get, once you spend 2,000 points, which we know we get uh, 39, or 2,700 points, so you will get 2,000 points, an additional 800 parade tokens from here. So that's from spending the points along this path. So in this one, the players at the end, not free to play. You're going to have to use gems if you want to get those. Uh, I think it's like upwards, basically. If you want to get a 9 2 over player, it's almost like 1,500 gems or 50, 150, I don't know. A lot of gems. I think it's like 6,000 FIFA points uh, to get one of these players. Uh, so definitely going to cost you a lot if you do want to get one of those cards. Um, but if you want to get a free to play card out of this one, you can get Onsu out of this one, uh, or you can get Ta out of this one as well. So either of those cards will be available, which also means that any card before that, if you just want one of those cards, technically could be free to play uh, for you as well so to get one of the 91 overall players it's going to cost 2670 uh in terms of this out of the 2710 that's gonna that you're going to need in order to get there so that's to go all the way to this path point here and then claim these three points to get all the way to the end of the card so you will only be able to get one of the cards uh for the 91 overall uh players because you will be short uh for trying to get the second one from that point um but uh, that's sort of where you're gonna be able to get to in that point uh you will not be able to get the socrates card uh he is pretty uh not free to play i think he's like over 20 1000 fifa points something like that um so he's quite a he's quite a bit uh of a pricey card that you can get from there uh and then in the festival square we get the points that you get now you get them in uh, uh in hundreds and in total you get 3950 uh from this one here which will get you all the way to i believe this one yes parade nine uh which is 3600 not quite enough to get to the 4000 uh for th for that but you will be able to get all these different rewards that you can get from the point before and then any players that you might be able to get that also means that you're opening this up 39 times and you get a guarantee player uh once you purchase 10 the next one is going to be guaranteed which basically means you're going to get three attempts of getting a guaranteed player uh so how you kind of want to break that down if you want to save it all for next week
week if you want to try and get some of the players this week uh totally up to you in that one but you should remember that most likely if you're getting a guaranteed player it's going to come from the bottom row because is FIFA Mobile. Uh, so that's basically what you get out of the promo. Um, all the different things you can go from there. Again, pretty straightforward for a promo. Not a whole lot of, um, you know, kind of different ways to engage in this promo. Just playing those five skill games every day. Get yourself a 91 overall player to hopefully build up your squad. And if you do, you can get a squad looking like this. Uh, so we've been trying to buy some of these players on the market which has been very difficult uh right now uh on suit not able to pick him up or charleston not able to pick him up uh just a lot of people not really wanting to sell him given that he's a 92 overall card and only at 7 million right now so we weren't able to get him on the team uh but we were able to get a lot of good cards here tony cruz uh excited to try this card out he does a five star five star which is really nice uh very slow uh but has good passing uh good long passing good vision uh good ball control which I think is going to actually make him a really good card. Uh, he's got medium, medium work rate, uh, which is nice. Long passer, long shot taker, and playmaker, which is a trait that I really do enjoy having on the team. Uh, and then beside him, we also got Thiago Mendez. Uh, he's also got a five-star uh, weak foot on there. And I might actually switch them up to the other sides of the pitch uh, to make it... Uh, uh, a little bit better there because I usually do try and get those shots with my right foot uh, from my left center uh, center defensive mid. Although I don't think they're going to be taking a ton of shots, but you never know. And then in the middle here, our first uh, event icon in the promo. I really love that the event icons, by the way, still carry that same design from the promo. It definitely makes it nice. Uh, it really makes me feel like I should be fitting them into my uh, all of my sort of theme squads when we're going with this. Uh, high attacking work rate, flare, long shot taker, and then some just decent all around stats. Uh, you know, there's probably some team of the year cards that are better stat wise uh, than this card, but I still feel like he's going to be good for us there. Uh, and then Nedved, the other one, uh, and look at that pace. He's got some very good pace, really good long passing, really good dribbling, uh, and he's got five star five star and he also has a uh, four star skill move so this is a really good looking card high attacking work rate early crosser long shot taker speed dribbler i'm very excited to use that dead card uh, i feel like he's going to be a huge huge addition to the squad maybe even a card that we keep on our team for a little bit and then obviously obviously we had to pick up ramsdale as our goalkeeper but i mean they did some good stats for ramsdale 92 handling uh and 88 goalkeeper positioning 101 reflexes 97 goalkeeper diving and after we played with vandersar we seem to know that it doesn't really matter the stats of your goalkeeper i mean my base vandersar plays better than my prime icon vandersar um so uh, we'll see how ramsdale plays for us hopefully he will be an absolute brick wall in net for us uh and then some out of position players because we didn't really have a whole lot of choice uh when going through this in terms of right mid in terms of how many are available in the game right now um so we did put an out of position player in there uh and then uh, the only center forward card i think actually in this promo uh is this to thomas card uh but we're gonna check him out uh at 112 shot power 107 finishing a good sprint speed acceleration as well uh and then our striker card too i think it'll be interesting because we don't have a lot of speed up front uh we do have some good speed over on the left mid obviously uh but not a ton of speed up front but we do have some good playmakers uh and we do have some kind of good finishing on those cards to be interested to kind of do a lot more ball movement i haven't really been doing a lot of sort of trying to you know chip it over the top and run it into the net anyways so we'll see how that goes for us and then on defense our biggest issue on defense is definitely going to be the fact that we don't have a lot of speed i'll be very interested to see how this solid player trait works for us uh but only 84 sprint speed and 74 acceleration will definitely impact us a little bit uh but the fact that he's got 119 strength will be helpful uh and he does have only medium uh, defensive work rate that part i'm not super looking forward to uh but again medium medium leadership trait from uh Romanali there and uh, 112 standing 114 marking so I think together like there'll be a decent trio on defense um and kind of I feel like you know go with each other well uh in there so uh Boyata here is going to be 99 110 strength as well so it'll be interesting to see how they play for us there uh as we go into this one so let's play some gameplay here in head to head and see how it goes Another problem that we run into, obviously, is finding a formation at this point because we haven't leveled up a lot. has been a little bit difficult for us. Uh, I do love how this team is 97 in every single one of them. Uh, but uh, So we don't have as many formations unlocked, which is a bit unfortunate when trying to sort of uh, build out a squad, getting players in position. Uh, but I think it'll still be nice to sort of see them uh, out of position here. As we go on to the next match, it's very int I haven't seen this. I haven't actually played in this stadium before. I wonder if this is the one that's uh, the cloudy stadium that we have. I don't know how I feel about the design on the pitch. The design on the pitch is, uh, oh my goodness. Are we literally wearing the exact same kit? I really have to get rid of these. These team of the year kits, uh, I think the fact of it is, is that there's, there doesn't seem to be like a second team of the year kit. Uh, so they, they really clash every single time. So after this match, we're definitely getting rid of the, the team of the year kit. 
as we go with this one. Good stop there to Thomas. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Nedved can't get that shot off, but Nedved actually been playing pretty decently for us at the start. Made a good run. Gets it there. Yes, good defense right there. And Thiago Mendes can't go. Nedved's going to have to check back on that one. Okay, moves that up. Oh, look at that. To Thomas puts it back. Good run there. I almost passed it across to their team because I thought he was my player for a second. And then I realized it was definitely not my teammate that that was. So luckily, we did avoid doing that. Tony Cruz, nice ball there. Gets it. Let's see this run. Look at that run. Making that movement. And not enough to come back there. But I like that idea from Socrates there. Cruz staying in there. Mbappe goes with this one. Coming on second defender. I love to see it. Gets it across. Bayata moves that out to the outside. Tries to... Oh, he stays on it too. But that is definitely... Oh, you know what? I was like... I didn't, couldn't figure out why he passed in the middle because I'm trying to pass to the other player. But it turns out the other player I was trying to pass to was Davies, uh, who's not on my team. All right, here we go. Oh, lacrosse steps in on that one. Nedved. One, two, play. Crosses it in. Ramsdale. Not able to make the save there. Oh, gets it there. Goes with this one. Gets the strike. Can't get the shot off. Tried to go with that one. He must not have very many skill moves. I tried to do some other skill moves there, but I think he's uh, lacking all... Yeah, that's what I like to call halftime too, Rev. Oh, what a play. Gets in there. Move that into the middle. Send him. I couldn't tell which one was my player. I just I like, literally have no idea which is my team and which is the other team. A uh, cross comes in. Oh my gosh. Thank you for fixing crossing, FIFA Mama. I'm so glad that somebody can do a bicycle kick over a defender who I'm pretty sure has power header anyways. This, this is why this game is, is just so, so accurate. Thanks a lot for fixing it. We literally only made like two weeks into it before headers got broken. I mean, I tried to say this. I feel that it's fine until you make stats go over 100. And then when stats go over 100, things just get broken. And so just don't make the stats 150 and maybe we'll have like a nice game that is fun to play. All right, I'm disappointed but not surprised that cross spamming is now a thing again in FIFA Mobile, but uh, we're gonna hope to avoid letting it happen again to us this time as we go back. Got to change my kit. Luckily, it didn't matter there as we go back into the middle. One more out and Thiago Mendes not gonna get there in time. Mendy into the middle. Stops it, turns it, take the strike! Oh, oh I love that shot! Socrates puts it in the back of the net, stops it, turns, blasts that thing in the corner, and we're up by one. Nice play up there. Gets it up, can't get the shot off, it's Piol, but Piol is out of position, and nice. I love that effort for him to come back, and it does give us an opportunity here. It gives us a decent opportunity, but Shaw coming out of position to help out there. Oh yeah, out to the outside. Here we go, Nedved. Nice little open up fake Shaw for some room. And look at that pace on him too. Beautiful pace from him. Gets in the box and a big strike, but a bigger save. I don't even know if it was a save as much as bounced off the, uh, off the post, but I do think he actually got a piece of it to put it off the post there. So decent play from the goalkeeper there on Nedved's first real opportunity on net. Um, but I definitely like that pace he's got going down the wing. Uh, it's really been the first time I've really seen him a lot in this one. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some more of that in the second half. Okay, Tony Cruz. Tried to feed that ball. Didn't do it, but uh, nice effort there. Gets that ball. Nice effort. Oh, see him back. Let's go. Was he on? He was on side. And a beautiful finish from the Thomas there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Finds it and kept on side by the left back. And a huge, or right back, I guess. It's there at Bronx out of the face. The right back. Uh, but uh, very nice play there to stay on side and get that going. As we go with this one. Stays on it, tries to get it back again. Goes a roulette. A nice ball out there, Nedved. Nedved staying on this one. Goes here. Drag back spin, gets the drag back spin past both of them, and from very far out, tries it just wide of the net, but from good work to get in that position. I'll take that. Good effort. Oh, send it. Nice ball up. Good send. Tries to stop it. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Nice play. They try far post, but Nedved gets their big win from him. 
And a nice little heal to heal to get a little bit of room, but uh, not enough on the end of that pass. Bellingham, oh, you know what that's happening. You know what's happening there. You knew it was coming. Oh, man, did you know that was coming? <laughs> Moves that ball up. Good play to him. Let's go. Stay with it. Nice roulette there. He gets on the ball after and a huge finish. We bring it back right away right there. All the work, I think, at the start there done by uh, Socrates. Uh, but uh, really good work to pick that up. Fights him off. We would have gotten a free kick anyways if we hadn't got the shot off. So I will take that. Open up, fake shot, and a big effort on net. Enough to get us a corner. I like that work from him. I'm, I'm actually, I didn't realize he had such good skill moves. Let's see Nedved's corner. Nedved's corner! All right, Nedved. All right, I like that corner. Look at him, just he picked him out beautifully. I honestly feel like if I tried, I could put that in straight from the corner with Nedved. He's such a nice curl on that corner. Good defensive play. My defense definitely, uh, like, they do obviously have a bit of an issue with pacing, but uh, they are uh, they are pretty uh, pretty aggressive and strong. Cruz, though. Like, come on, Cruz. If you win that ball, like, why did you give up on that? No one else was anywhere near that ball. There's no reason that he should... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> lane change roll. Lane change roll. Lane change roll. Goal. The new heel to heel. How many times can you lane change roll in one second? I mean, it needs to have... I, I thought that there was supposed to be, like, a, um, you know, like, the more times you do it, the less, like, you're, you are to be able to, to complete it. At least that's how it is with um, Heal to Heal. So why aren't we doing this with uh, all these other skill moves, FIFA Mobile? Oh, that's a foul. Really? Okay. Oh, that was beauty. That was beauty! We made it happen anyways, but I still think that first one was going to be a foul. But a nice play gets it in there. Oh, come out, Ramsdale. Come out, Ramsdale. Ramsdale! Nice play from Ramsdale. And he actually slid out to it. So it's not one of those ones where they get a handball and you're like, well, really? That should have been a foul. It actually was pretty good there. Okay, Nevet. Oh, stays on it. Gets it. Big effort. Big goal. Uh, a bit of lucky to come on the end of that one after the tackle. But uh, I'll call this a pass from Nevet. You did see he kind of hit it with a little bit of a heel there. So <laughs> however they go in, right? All right, well, there you have a gameplay with our full squad from Carnival. Uh, so thank you for sending this out. Stop by, but a pleasure to always stop to you.